What the heck? Who trapped you in here? Bendy, rise. If you feel like it, you know. You don't have to. It's all if you want to. Dude! Dude, back it up a little bit. Look how close he is. Get back! Just smack some sense into him, you know? Hey guys, that was a that was a little rough there. Um, welcome back to Bindi and the Eek Machine, Chapter Four. I am your host, the BG Mike. Uh, what did he say? Did he say Chapter Four? Did you already play that? Yes, I did actually. But we're going to play it again, and there's a great reason why. And I allow me to allow me to elaborate. Does the name Greenhouse M13 ring a bell to you guys? If it doesn't, I will explain. <laughs> Just get on with it. <laughs> if you don't know who Greenhouse M13 is. He's an awesome guy. Actually, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I've I've never asked. I've I've actually never asked. Okay, but that's besides the point. They're an awesome person that has uh, that makes these things called trainers that allow us to do these awesome things in Bindi and Link Machine. Uh, let's see. Wait, did I? I think I screwed it up already. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That means we activated it. We can do cool things like this. All right, so I don't think I need to explain any further. Uh, previously, in the previous chapters, like back in chapter three, and even in Hello Neighbor, we've used these things called, called trainers that uh, Greenhouse M13 makes that allows us to glitch through walls and to see secrets that, you know, that maybe we missed, or just see how the game is made, okay? And I, got, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. This is, you know, obviously cheating. So, before watching this video, I highly, highly urge you to go watch or play, um, preferably play, uh, the chapter 4 of Bindi and the Ink Machine, okay? We've done this in previous episodes, and I'll probably link the last one we did if you want to look at it. But I want you guys to know that this is not a representation of how the game is supposed to be. This is going through walls and showing parts of the game that we're not exactly, you know, we, you can't exactly see. So that's why I say go play the original game first because this is not an accurate representation. It's like a mod. But if you guys are familiar with a YouTuber uh, that makes Boundary Break, I can't remember their name right now. Are they called Boundary Break? Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, it's by Shizez. It's gonna be a lot like that in a way, okay? But I'm not, I, I'm not copying them, right? This is the thing that people have been doing. Links to Greenhouse M13 down below. Let's get started. We can teleport around. See, with this, with this thing, you can't see the controls like I see them because I'm using uh, fraps. But we can teleport around. We can move. Kind of however we want like that and it, it teleports us we can also be immortal invisible and uh, Change our walk run speed and ink speed. I don't even know what that even means And we can even set our gravity and stuff like that, but I'm probably gonna mostly use the teleporting function God, I was so excited for this. I could not wait for a greenhouse m13 to make another one huge huge shout out to them Seriously, it's, it's not possible without them. They were really nice enough to do this all right, so I wanted to come through this wall right here, and uh, of course there's nothing, you know? Uh, most of the, like, episodes, most of the episodes are probably gonna be nothing, and that's okay, right? I was really fascinated by last episode to see, like, where Boris goes when he goes through the wall, and, and cool things like that. I, I just really, really love this. So we have some spider webs out here, this is interesting. All right, so starting out, we can uh, just come over here, and we can just teleport through here. It's a little confusing to use sometimes. But look, we have another little uh, way to see the meatly, the secret meatly behind this door, guys. Again, spoiler alert: this is a sp there's gonna be spoilers in this episode. That's why you can either go play the game or watch my episode I made on it recently. So here's what the map looks like uh, above. Quite interesting indeed. I love the way it looks. I always like to see if there's anything extra that we miss, like you know maybe something that the game devs just kind of put there. But no, it's pretty straightforward. This is probably what the game looks like to the developers, you know, all the time. If they want to, I mean, I'm sure they have the ability to fly around with the camera if they want. So here's what the elevator shaft looks like. Interesting. What about under the map? Can we go under the map? I don't think we can. We can get really close to the ground though. Oh, that that's like a cool wallpaper, isn't it? That makes for a really cool wallpaper. So the way this thing seems to work, it's like, it, it probably works like uh, north, south, east, west, uh, with the arrow keys, so if I'm turned, and I press up, I'm gonna go to my, uh, right. Yeah. So I have to remember that. It's too bad we don't have a compass. Oh, and what do you, what do you know? We don't even need, we don't even need. Look at, we don't even need the valve, screw that! <laughs> but I, I'm a little scared now that the game will probably break because we didn't do what it wanted us to do to activate other things. Here, let's, hey, we can actually go up here now. Let's, let's go up here and see what's going on. So here's what the egg monsters look like, like, up close. Wow, they are hollow. Here, let's get a good above view of the archive. <gasps> what the heck? What? What is he? Why is he up here? That is random. Holy crap. 
It's just like one of those, uh, uh what do you call these guys? Uh, I, I forgot the actual names of it. I'll just call them Ink Demons. He's just randomly here. That's interesting. We found our first little, uh, little secret. What? <laughs> there it is. See? See? Th the thing is, is that, you know, uh, th they know that the people are gonna do this. That's why they put Wondering is a Sin. So freaking cool. And it's always accompanied by this really scary sound with these things. I remember the first time I seen this, I was like, it gave me chills. Who trapped you in here? Huh? Who trapped you in here? Is it because I wandered in here? Well, if I wouldn't have wandered in here, I would have never found them. Well, thank heavens I got here. Here, let's get you out of here. Let's move these rocks. I can't. I'm not strong. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I can teleport, but you can't. This is creepy. This is really creepy. We got candles and, like, they ripped the head off of, uh, Alice Angel and poor Boris. Little plushies. They didn't deserve that. So this is- this is weird. There's boulders trapping this person. It's like they- they just got trapped. It's like, yeah, Michael, that's pretty obvious. Why boulders, though? Like, he, they could have just been here. There didn't have to be, a, like, a reason for it, right? Oh, hey, we're here now. Let's go back. Oh, he's in this pipe? What? That's crazy! He's just stuck in this pipe, and for some reason, it, it, there was, like, a landslide. It- well, after all, this does look like a mine shaft, right? So that- that really does work. It's just so interesting. That's just hidden there. I think at this point, the developers are just, uh, they're just putting stuff for people to find that are, they know they're gonna do this. I can't even- <laughs> I went through this chapter so many times, so, like, let me tell you, it's really nice to go through it without having to- to do everything uh, again. And plus there was glitches, which I think they have updated it. You know, that everything, you know, when there's a new game and, and a new update, there's always gonna be glitches that break the game. But, but then, you know, all, all that aside, I really, really enjoyed this chapter. And I just love to see how far that they've come as far as just improvements of the game. Uh, how much better the game looks for, for one. Wait, what is this over here? Oh, is this the elevator again? Oh, so it does have it. Okay, it has like a little bit of a uh, underground shaft that goes to it. Okay. I forgot to mention that I don't know if this is public yet, but uh, be sure to check out Greenhouse M13's channel in case they make it public, okay? Uh, just to kind of, because I know that some of you guys probably want to try this for yourselves. But I can't stress enough, play the original game first. Because they put a lot of hard work in these. So, as you can see, it's like this, the, the next part of the level doesn't load until you go over there. And voila, here we are. At least it didn't look like it, I don't know, I'm not a game developer. So, what's in this wall? Is there actually something in this wall? What, like, maybe we can actually see Bindi's little crushed face under there. Oh, yep, yep, he's there. He's just, he's just, he's just stuck. I saved you, Bendy. You you better be grateful. So there are some limits to where we can go. Oh, never mind. I take that back. Oh, what the heck? Is there, there's a door down there. You see that? Oh, it doesn't lead to anything. I mean, I guess I <laughs> shouldn't be surprised. But there seems to be... Oh, wait, wait. What is this? I wouldn't be surprised if there was something random in one of these cages. Because you'll never... Like, you're not supposed to see it. So they're like, eh, we'll put it in there. Oh, wait. The, the, the cave actually goes over here, too. What? This is interesting. Now I know, like, this is, this is odd. Is there any, is there anything inside this cage? Alright, there doesn't appear to be anything in the cage. Yeah, I don't want to try to land there because then we'll probably just fall right through. So this makes me wonder, like, were they planning on doing anything over here? I'm actually kind of shocked they didn't put anything inside these cages. I thought for sure they would have put something. So this is what the mines, I'm just gonna call it the mines, looks like from above. It's complete pitch black. I need to go back down. <laughs> Went up a little too far. I'm a little scared of missing stuff, though, because I feel like... I could probably easily miss it like a big secret. Okay, yeah, usually when you go down too far, it's just blank. You can't, you just nothing. So, okay, I decided to come back and I thought it'd be better if we activated the thing to see if there's any changes to the level at all, you know, especially from above or anything. I love the sound, like the music in this game is so spot on. I also want to see when the searchers, I'm gonna just call them searchers. Oh, hey, I didn't come down here, did I? Wait a minute. This is under this is under this is underground. Am I tripping? I think I am tri tripping. I thought that was underground for a second. No, I was tripping. All right, so moving on. I'm actually really excited for this part because we get to see the ink machine for the first time, and I want to see if we can catch it going down. So we're kind of just skipping this part. So I don't think the cutscene the cutscene. Ah, oh, wow. What? We're skipping this part because I don't think the cutscene will activate, and it should allow us to see. Oh, I can already hear it. I can already hear it going. I want to see the ink machine. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see if they actually fully modeled it and stuff. So you can hear the sound effect. I don't know if that's always been there. So what happens if we go this way? Huh? I guess nothing. Oh, we're so fast. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Bindi needs to be scared of me. <laughs> I'd be scared of Bindi too with this kind of run speed. Holy crap. I've been on some- Henry's been on some steroids. You invite me? Huh? Huh, fool? You invite me to your freaking ink, ink machine? <laughs> oh, it seems to be screwing up our uh, jumping though. To be walking so fast. So if I speed run Bindi this way, does it still count? Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. 
Now we're gonna we're gonna beat this. Where's it? Oh, there it is! Wow! Wow! Look at it! Look at it! I did. I, I felt like it looked a little bigger. Maybe I'm just tripping. But it looked pretty good. Like they, it looked fully modeled. Oh, so we can actually see them inside. Hey, we're in the cage. <laughs> So what what are you in for? What being being naked in, in, in public? What's that called? Public inde indecency? Wear some clothes, guys. Come on. Oh wait a minute. This is the room that Bindi's in. Oh, I forgot about that part. I'm really excited to go there. But this is cool to see the. Uh, oh hey hey, we got a secret area right here. Oh obviously the Bindi room. But anyway. So there's that right there. We'll take a closer look at that right now. But I just thought it would be interesting to take a look at the vent system. To see if there actually is some secret rooms, and there doesn't really seem to be. They just, you know, they don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm coming, Bindi! <laughs> oh god, oh god. Hey, so we actually get an up close. Oh, that's cool. Hi, Bindi. Hi. Wow. Look at him. I love the ribcage thing. Oh, he just disappears. After all, there's no actual reason to, you know, to animate him going through the wall, right? If they don't need to, to save on, I'm guessing, memory or space or whatever they, whatever it does. But surprisingly enough, I thought there'd be a little more something special about this room, but it's really plain and simple. Just has a bendine, of course, if we look over here. Wondering is a sin. So I, I would only imagine that all these things that they say wondering is a sin, they will probably add it, add it like, onto it later on of the game. This door leads to a vent. <laughs> Alright, where's the headbanging guy? Is he over here? It actually does get louder as we get closer, but that's not a surprise. Hey man, maybe you shouldn't... Maybe you shouldn't do that, huh? No, you don't want to listen. You want to keep doing it. Okay, dude. If whatever makes you feel good. But don't you guys think that they these guys look like shockingly like Bindi? Look, you can even see their spine sort of like Bindi. Oh, we got the illusion of living here. Okay, but no, we can't even open the door. So I can only imagine there's nothing on the other side. It's exactly as I suspected. I'm gonna go ahead and shut off my camera, guys, because there's kind of no point if we're just showing the secrets and stuff like that. So, uh, I'll turn it on when I deem it necessary. Okay, another thing I was really wanting to take a look at is the searchers over here that are looking at us. Oh, what? What the heck? The room's empty now. It's just these guys. Again, it makes sense, you know? They, they don't really exactly... Everyone doesn't need to be here. They're like, alright, he left. Let's all go home. <laughs> Their legs are like in the ground. They had to put them lower. I still hear the crying one, though. Where are you? So when you get out of this vent, the flashlight's... It's already modeled. It's already there. Alright, into the storage room. Hi, fabulous man. Or girl. I have no idea. They all look the same. Now I feel like this is where it's gonna get super interesting. I wanna see how these levels look through these walls. You know, just going through them, what happens? I'd love to see these freaking butcher gang try to get me now. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, guys. Alright, so now we can actually go chill in here. Hey, what are you guys gonna do? I'm- I'm- look, I'm trying to- I'm trying to, uh, console uh, him or her. There, there. I always wanted to know what was in here. I'm really hoping they do an update where you can, you know, do something with the, the mechanical or I guess the animatronic bendy. I just can tell, like, I, I think people would really, really love that. I accidentally went to the end of the game. <laughs> Alright, so here's under this guy. I, what is his name again? Uh, Belvedere? <laughs> I, I don't remember his name. Here, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go inside you, dude, okay? I know that sounds weird, but that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 no! I don't wanna die! That was really close. I thought we were gonna die for a second. All right, just gotta beat this guy real quick. I think it'll be a little easy. I, I can outrun him. Look at this. Oh wait, okay, maybe we're not that fast, but pretty darn fast. God, this is so much easier. We can actually get like both sides. Ah, dang it, I missed. All right, now moving on to the projectionist part, uh, which I guess is the maintenance room. Why is he stuck in the wall? <laughs> I think it's because we didn't do it right, and he just he was supposed to come out of the wall. Poor guy. I'm sorry, man. Oh crap, oh crap, oh guys, it's actually getting close. Oh, he can actually chase us all the way out here. All right, but I know you guys are wondering this part right here. This is the most interesting part right here. Oh, now he, now you show up. What if I just want to go outside? Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's, that's what happens. You, you don't do that. Oh, <laughs> can we go out of here? Oh, no, we can't move, guys. I, ah, wow. I'm actually shocked. This is the one thing we can't move out of. And here we go. It looks like the last place we, we get to explore, which is the haunted house. So this is now, now this is awesome. We actually get to walk around and look around, you know, at the, at the scenery. You know, of course we're in the, we're in the cart. We get to look a little bit, but we don't get to see everything. What happened? What's in Bindi's room? Oh, nothing. I'm really surprised. I thought for sure like there'd be a wondering as a sin thing around here somewhere. Oh, look, we can preemptively turn this thing. 
I'll have it ready for exactly what I need it for. Okay, so we cannot use the trainer in this area. It's just like the... The cutscenes, usually you can't move, which is disappointing, but you can't have it all. You know, it's a little too bad that the ride ends a little too early, because, you know, there probably was some pretty bomb stuff behind this door until Boris freaking gets us, stupid. I'm telling you, he ruins everything. All right, evil or good Boris, they, they ruin everything. Even, li listen, he didn't even say, he's not even the one that saved us. <laughs> Alice did it. That just shows you how useless he actually is. All right, uh, another thing I missed last time I played this is you can actually get in these things, I believe. I want to say that you can. I don't know if it's because I'm going too fast, but I want to say there's an achievement for it. Oh, see? It, it's not glitched anymore either. Before, he would just throw it on the ground. I thought it was a little weird. Boris, throwing cards at this time of day, at this time of year. <laughs> all within the confines of your giant room. Oh, I got him. Ah, I really, really wish that we could move around. So she definitely has a sword. Don't pretend like you did anything, Boris. Get out of here. Today's scrub of the day goes to... Princess Starfish. You are literally the greatest game commentator like ever. I always laugh when you say, rise again, Mindy. You already got your freaking spotlight this episode, okay? I'm not, just, no more, no more. Princess Starfish, that is a super nice comment. Like, seriously, that really made me happy. Thank you so much for that. If you guys want to be scrubbing the day, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you haven't already, guys. And also, feel free to check out other videos, okay? We do Bendy, Yandere Simulator, and a whole variety of games, okay? Again, guys, so much support on the channel. I think we're already at, like, 1,130,000 subscribers. Just insane. You guys have really been liking the Bendy as well. I've been enjoying it as well. And if you guys want to see me do more of this, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I would like to do another episode on perhaps uh, chapters one through three. And we'd probably do that all one episode. I don't think I should go through each one, you know, separately because we kind of already did that before. But if they did add new stuff, maybe we would have to. I'm not really sure. Again, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Greenhouse M13 for allowing me to do this if without their modding hacking skills, you know. I wouldn't be able to do this and it's freaking awesome. Thank you so much to all my beautiful scrubs out there with all the green, with all the green. <laughs> I'll see all you scrubs in the next video. Bye-bye.